Hello and welcome to this course that is going to teach you how to make and produce your own audiobook to sell on ACX. Again, this is specifically going through Adobe Audition and selling it through ACX. There are many, many, many other softwares and platforms available for you to record and sell your product. But again, this course is just going to focus on Adobe Audition and ACX. The first thing I do is make sure my microphone is plugged in. Now you can use any microphone for this. Obviously, the better microphone you have, the better quality you're going to get. For this example, I'm going to be using a Blue Yeti microphone. I have had this microphone for years and years now, and I have never ever experienced any problems with it. I've used it for so many things, and it is still a great piece of equipment, in my opinion, that doesn't cost too much and is much better than my laptop's microphone that's built into the webcam. So I do recommend you grab something that's a little bit better just because you are going to have some issues with quality if you don't have a great microphone. So first things first, I've opened Adobe Audition and this is the first screen we can see. So that is great. And next, I'm going to go ahead and open my book. Okay, so here I have my manuscript for the book I want to read Save the Reef. Now this is for a children's book. So this is going to be a much easier and quicker process than a novel. The theory is the same. So if you are creating a novel, you can absolutely use this course to learn how. But again, this is going to be a much simplified version. What I'm going to do first is sort of zoom in on my text. And I am just going to highlight any parts that are in a different voice. And basically, I am just sort of going to highlight different characters that are going to be using different voices. Now, if you're not using different voices, you won't have to worry about this. But for my children's books, I do really enjoy using different voices because the children absolutely enjoy it more and it helps keep them more engaged. And also listening to audiobooks as an adult, I love when narrators use voices especially in fiction novels, it just takes it that one extra step that I get invested into the book. Now, I in the past have had a voice actor work with me to do some of these voices. I'm not working with them this time only because they no longer have time, no. Uh, so I do have to do it myself now, but that's good for this lesson that you can absolutely do it for yourself. Now, there are times that I have recorded each character's lines individually, chopped them up and cut them and put them all together. But that does take quite a bit of work. If you have trouble using different voices or you're using a very specific voice, I do recommend recording all of that character's lines at once. That way you don't have to quickly switch back and forth. But since I am relatively familiar with these characters, I'm just going to wing it <laughs> and do the voices as is. And if I don't think it sounds too good, then I might go back and re-record a line. But I am gonna just try and read this all in one shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move this over to the side here. Zoom out so that all fits in one screen, perfect. And that's going to be on my other half of the screen. So what I'm going to do over here in Audition is click on this little plus box. That says new file. So I want a new audio file. Because if I press this record button down here before creating an audio file, my sound isn't going to record anywhere. So make sure you go ahead and start a new audio file. I'm going to call this narration one. The sample rate's 4,800, the channel is stereo, and the bit depth is 32 float. Okay, we have this open, we're ready to go. You can see it's created a new thing. And what I do first is just some audio testing. So let me make this big really quick so you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and press this record. And I'm going to talk as loud as I can. Okay, you see how that gets blown out right there? That means that audio is gonna sound really, really bad. So what I want to do is on my microphone, I'm actually gonna turn the gain a little bit down. Okay, let me go as loud as I can. All right, I should not be going that loud for the audiobook. Yippee! Yippee! 
Yippee! We can save the reef! Okay, that's perfect. You see how it's not getting blown out like it was here? So <laughs> I'm sorry that you guys had to listen to that, but I think that is about good. Make sure you're not blowing it out. If you are, your audio is going to be really, really bad. So you're going to have to record it again. All right, I am just going to clap to get a line on here so I know where to cut. Okay, now I know where to cut. I'm going to do that one more time and start reading. On a bright sunny day, Grandpa and Liam jumped into the ocean to meet with Liam's friends. Yes, if we can work together to help the earth, the coral can begin to recover. Felicia smiled. We can save the reef. All right, let me go ahead and make this big and stop that recording. We are going to name this session Save the Reef. All right, and we're gonna just go ahead and leave it just like that. Okay, perfect. Now you can see all these tracks. The first thing we're gonna do is go grab our narration and drag it on this first track. Now I am just going to zoom out here and I can see where I started recording. Here's all my claps. So what I'm gonna do is just hover my mouse over the side over here where I see that red bracket and I am just going to pull it into about here. Now that means that is where the audio starts. So let me just pull that back to the beginning. And if I zoom in, I should be able to hear this audio. All right, so let's see if I can play this back. Let me uh, scoot that cut in right up to the beginning, scoot it back. And I'm just gonna press space bar to play or you can press this play button down here. On a bright sunny day, Grandpa and Liam jumped into the ocean to meet with Liam's friends. Perfect. All right, you can hear there's like a lot of static. There's a lot of background sort of noise going on. So we are going to have to fix that. But first, I'm going to remove any mistakes I had. I know I had a mistake nor towards the end. Let me see if I can find that and we will cut it out. So that is the error. I'm going to grab this razor blade tool here and I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to cut here and I'm going to go ahead and click and click on delete. Pull that in. Let's see. If we work, yes. If we can work, okay. yes. So I said yes twice. So again, I'm just gonna pull it back to about here. Gonna pull this up here. And then what's really cool is if we overlap whoop, just a little bit, that will blend those two tracks together. Yes. I promise it's a, it's a more seamless transition. Okay. Now we need to fix this audio, right? Because it doesn't sound the greatest. It, it definitely doesn't sound quality yet. On a bright sun I can hear some things in the background. I can hear a little bit of a hum of my, uh, I have a fish tank in my office. So sometimes I turn off the fish tank. That way I can record this. So I can hear a little bit of that. Um, and of course, some ambient noises. I know during there at some point, maybe right here, my neighbor's car started honking. So I am just going to go ahead and cut this, get through this part and cut this again and go ahead and delete. Now, if you don't wanna drag, because I've already made edits down the line here. So I've already done that. That's all seamlessly together. If I drag it, it will separate that. So instead of dragging, I can right click in here, go to ripple delete and say gap, and that closes that up perfectly without any issues happening down the line here. So see, that's still perfect. So that is the end of this lesson for recording your base narration for your children's audiobook.